Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2D and today we are going to be returning to my custom solar system here as there is an update to one of the custom um, objects I have in here. As you know this whole solar system is all custom objects um, pretty much at this point now every single one is a custom variant which has been modded in the game files but yeah today I think we have got probably the biggest project ever out of all the objects um, that have been made for um, these custom solar systems uh, yeah this one probably takes the cake by far as this one it took 31 hours of work and it has over 1,000 or it has 1,100 bands on it. So already you can tell it's a gas giant since it has bands. So I'm just going to go ahead and unveil it. So we are going to be heading to Jupiter. So right, we'll go ahead and just look at the Jupiter. Okay, so here's the current modded Jupiter. And it's, the colors are a little off there. You'll see it could definitely use some more bands. And that's where this new one comes in. So... I'll go ahead and place the original one as well for a comparison too. So there's the original one. Then we have the current modded one. But this brand new one, it's the Mega Banded Jupiter. So this one, all credit for this goes to Mad Planet Guy. Massive, massive thank you to him for sending this in. And obviously, credit where credit's due. The time that went into making this is absolutely crazy. But yeah, here it is. So let's place this in and check this out. Look at that. Just, just compare it to the other two. I mean... This just looks like a joke compared to this. I mean, when I first saw this, I, I it, or if I, um, I saw this on a picture by itself, I would think it would almost, or I would think it's from Space Engine. Like if I was to put the black ground as all black and I just showed this planet, I reckon you could probably fool some people and, and they'd probably think it's Space Engine. I mean, look at the detail in here. The red spot is obviously added in as well by name and the object Jupiter, but just look at all the different colours blended in here. I mean, it's a massive improvement over the old one, so we can just go ahead and remove that one now, as that is completely irrelevant. But yeah, comparing it to the original one, just look at the detail. It looks like this one is just blurry and distorted. I mean, look at the detail in here. Got the, all the colours are blended in nicely. I mean, check it out. It just looks great. I think, I believe the poles have got have all been done as well. Yeah, there's the poles. North and south. Look how cool they are. I've got all of the stalks. Look at, just look at all how it all works. That is just, it's so cool. I mean, you, you can just see the detail, all the different colors in there. But every single color in here, that's all got to be typed out individually with different um, different numbers to get the color exactly how you want it. So all of the, the um, RBGA numbers and all that, all of the different, like the red, green, blues, that's all got to be changed to perfectly or perfectly, or we got to be perfectly done to get this exactly the way you want it. Because like I said, it took him... Yeah, it took him about, was it 33 hours or 31 hours to create this. So that's yes, over a whole day to um, create this thing. So you can see a lot of time has been put into this. And I definitely think it is very, very nicely done. I mean, just look how good it looks. I mean, wow. I mean, I'm just astonished of how good that looks. I mean, like, we'll just go ahead and delete the original because that is completely, completely um, just not required anymore. We'll go ahead and click all to orbit. And then we're going to go to um, realistic. And we're just going to click play. Actually, no, no, we'll do it in a new simulation, a completely new simulation, actually, because if I... Yeah, so we can actually just watch the, the um, bands and stuff rotate around on this thing, because this this Jupiter is just... It is so cool. So, um, just go ahead and place it in. So, here we go. Right. It just looks... Look how good it looks. I mean, all the colours, all blended in nicely. So, we click play. You can just look at all of it, all the bands moving around. We'll quickly... Uh, we'll go ahead and just turn off the rotational period. So you can see all the bands are moving by themselves now. Like, just look at look at it all move. It is, it is so cool. Obviously, the red spots rotating around. I mean, that is just amazing with how good that looks. I mean, just look at all of the gases all flowing around. I mean, just look at this. You don't really get this effect on the normal Jupiter just because it doesn't have as many bands. But obviously, the more bands you add, the just the more it flows. I mean, just look at like this high-speed cloud area here. That is just... Just admire it. Just admire the beauty. It just looks absolutely amazing. So, yeah, here we go. There is the brand new Jupiter, guys. So, yeah, let us know your thoughts on this down below. I'll be definitely be making sure to add this into my um, custom solar system. I'll probably just do it after I finish this video, actually. But you guys don't want to watch me um, adding that in because that would be quite boring. But we'll, we will quickly return to the simulation just to see it added in with all of the other planets as well. So, let's just go in here. But, yeah, that Jupiter is just absolutely amazing. And yeah, it, it looks so good. I mean, it almost looks like it is from Space Engine. That is just how much detail is um, being put in here. It is absolutely crazy the amount of time and effort has been put in this. So yeah, cr definitely credit where credit's due. Massive, massive well done to Mad Planet Guy for getting this achievement. As if we go ahead and just get rid of that one now. Um, can, can I go to the start? Where, where are they? Come on. 
that, there you go. So, yeah, there we go. So just look how good that looks with all of the other planets as well. It just looks absolutely fabulous there. I mean, really, really well done indeed. I mean, very, very cool. I mean, definitely... Definitely the biggest project ever undertaken for a custom solar system object. I mean, there's no way that, um, say, like the Neptune and the Uranus here, there's no way they took as long as this Jupiter to be created. Nowhere near. This thing is multiple times the amount of time that these guys took. I mean, no hate to the other objects. These are all still really, really cool. But, yeah, this one, the amount of time in it is just absolutely crazy. And just look how good it looks. Just, wow, it is such an uh, amazing creation and yeah just a massive massive thank you again for mad planet guy for uh sending this object in as it is just a really really cool object to have but yeah there we are guys so let us know what you think of this brand new jupiter as i, I believe he s showed it to the game developers and they liked it as well in the universe sandbox um discord i, I think i think he said something about that so that's um pretty cool maybe we should uh, try and get it added to the uh, actual game imagine uh, having this as the actual jupiter that would be just so cool to have and really really cool but yeah, who knows that it would be nice if it happened but yeah that is that so enough of me rambling on now guys let us know what you think of this object down below again massive thank you to mad planet guy for sending this in let's even go for 40 likes for this brand new jupiter as yeah a lot of time and effort was put into it so i'm pretty sure um mad planet guy would appreciate people um liking his object because this is just really really cool so yeah massive massive thank you um for watching the video as well guys make sure you all have a great day subscribe helps on the journey to uh, 10,000 subscribers as well guys and yeah that is everything so i'll see you in the next video goodbye